Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 XLR Boost 35DSX11 fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. Alright guys, we're now up inside the new 2022 XLR Boost here. And we are going to start back on the rear of the coach, and then we'll kind of spin our way back up through here. So on the back, we have a rear patio deck. So you can set that up if you want to, or just put it down in ramp mode to get your toys in and out. Has a magnetic screen with the zipper in the middle here. There is an area right here where you could buy aftermarket a set of steps to go off the back and it has a little swing gate to open up down here. It is pre-wired for the rear observation camera and also it has an LED light strip across the back there as well. Now on the new 2022 model there is individual sofas in the back. They no longer do the electric bed system. So you have a sofa on each side that will fold up against the wall. And they make into smaller beds. Window on each side and those windows do open. Now up top you do have a pull down bunk. We'll pull that down in a few minutes to show you what that looks like as well. You have washer dryer hookups back here if you wanted to add that in. A little bit of overhead cabinet space up there. There's also TV hookups there. Now here you have a little half bath. And this does have a folding wall. So this portion right here will actually come open. Swing around. Giving you probably about an extra foot of width for your toys to come in and out of here. But foot flush toilet, little sink area, an electric outlet in there. So you, if you do have the kids back here or whatever, they got their own little half bath. Spinning around here. On this bed here, you can see pop up in the picture. You pull down on the back close to that screen and then you pull down on the front and it drops it down into place. Rubber diamond plate floor. Plenty of D-rings back here to tie down your toys. On back up into the living room kitchen area here. You have the Thomas Paine theater seat over there. Kick back and recline. Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Little pantry area right there. The unit also comes with the renewable energy package, they call it, but it's basically a 100 watt solar panel on the roof with a 30 amp charge system. And that will help keep your batteries juiced up when you're out boondock camping. It's all linoleum floor through this section. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Do you have the Furion stereo to control your indoor and outdoor speakers? Area up top there for a large flat screen TV. Traditional microwave by Furion. You have the Furion oven with the glass front, three burner stove top, uh, the little light inside the oven and on the knobs has a flip down glass lid to kind of cover it up to give you more counter space if you need it. Um, you know, undermount stainless sink, high rise sprayer faucet. Currently using a ducted AC system for the main AC by Furion. And then they have an option for a second AC as well. Electric box with the breakers and fuses right there. And then you have a uh, propane leak detector down below as well. 
but quite a bit of open feel to this area right here. Uh, you do have the little fold up and down sofa back there as well. I got the little XLR logo and stuff in it. But that sofa can actually flip up against the wall out of the way if you wanted it to. Or flip it down into a small bed as well. And then some more overhead cabinet space. Going up your stairway here, you do have a couple steps to get up there. You've got your little grab handle here your control for your solar panel here and then you have your generator start stop button the unit is pre-wired for a generator um, generator is an option so you don't have to spend the extra on it if you don't want but it is pre-set up for it foot flush toilet up here nice step in shower plenty of room for towels and washcloths and stuff on the left there you do have a turbo fan up top skylight above the shower and then you have your traditional medicine cabinet and some storage down below here. Now, you can enter this area from the bedroom also. So you have two entryways for your main bathroom here. Sliding door on the uh, hallway area there. Swing door from the bedroom area. Now, in this wall or on this wall right here is the controls for your Furion on-demand water heater. That's one of the new things for 2022 also. They went to an on-demand water heater instead of a tanked water heater. A little bit more expensive but uh, definitely worth it if you like the longer showers. Some overhead cabinets in your bedroom area here. Hanging closet on the left, a little bit of shelf space on the right. Um, USB charger ports at the headboard, electric outlet on the right side as well. Um, plenty of room at the foot of the bed area here. Not a huge amount of room on the right side though. And that is partly in due to they put a little bit larger camper king bed in instead of a queen. Now this one does have the optional second AC. You can see what that looks like here. And you have your traditional slide out closet area over here. Uh, this is a electric slide, push a button, it goes in and out. Little extra cabinet space, just giving you a little extra room there. All right, guys, we are going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. And then we're going to come back in and close up these slides. Just want to show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new 2022 XLR Boost 35 DSX11 here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV, and we'll kind of spin our way around. So first things up, one of the main changes for 2022 on the outside is the fiberglass exterior is now standard. Last year it was metal sided with an option for fiberglass if you wanted it, but they're now forcing fiberglass on you standard. The lower bottom black portion is still an aluminum skirting. You have power awning with the LED light on each arm. You can kind of see that blue light down there instead of having a light strip down the tube area. Um, adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. Back in behind this first storage compartment, you have one of your 20 pound propane tanks. The other one is on the other side. Do you have a pass through storage compartment here? battery disconnect in there and a couple motion lights as well down below there is a gas line hookup if you wanted to do like a portable grill or something also see your spare tire down there next to that storage door is the furion on-demand water heater that is also new for 2022 Back in behind this little door here, you have a mini fridge, electric only. Your furnace exhaust out here, 
There are a couple outdoor speakers, one right here and one in between the doors over there. Stove exhaust out up here. And then you also have outside TV hookups here. So you have an electric outlet, a cable outlet, and a place where you can mount a TV there. Your main entry door here has the Moor Ride Step Above Step. It's rated for 500 pounds. It has adjustable feet to help you with the terrain area you might be at. But it basically just flips up inside the entry door. You have a traditional RV entry door here with a screen door. Large folding entry handle. Your model number located next to that. And again, you can see that other speaker. Up top there is a side vent for the garage area. You have triple entrance step. There's a little blue light under there as well. Now this is a traditional hover style step. That one is rated for 300 pounds. Back here you have the little pet friendly leash latch holder. And this one was ordered with the electric stabilizer jacks on the rear. Now on the back, I have it in party deck mode. Now the party deck used to be an option and it is now standard as part of one of their packages. So this party deck will come with the unit now. Again, up top, it is pre-wired for the rear observation camera. There is an LED light strip up there that I forgot to turn on, but there is actually a light there as well. Over here on this side, you now have the ladder also standard, the collapsible ladder here. Again, that was an option last year that they decided to just make standard. So that is there as well. And then, there you go. You have your little uh, gas pump station right here as well. Fuel tank fill up. Over here you have your hot and cold outside shower. There is a black tank flush for the rear half bath here as well. And you have a dump right here for that rear bathroom. Detachable power cord right here, 50 amp electric service, and that is probably about 25 or 30 feet long roughly. You can see the little bracket just behind the axle there. It is prepped for auto level jacks. That is an option that you can order on the coach if you want. Going on around to this side of the RV up here, we have the other dump area down below. You can again see that little blue light there just to try and help uh, throw some light at nighttime down in this area. And you have your gray, your galley, and your black dump here for the main area. Also back in behind there is the fresh water tank drain, the big white handle under there. Here on the side you have your city water, cable inlets, fresh water fill up, and a black tank flush for the upstairs bathroom. Just the other side of the storage compartment here. Back behind that door is your other 20 pound propane tank. And then here is some stickers. We're going to pop these up for you. These are pretty important informational stickers. And the first one is your main data sticker. Basically telling you a production date, VIN number, gross vehicle weight, axle sizes, that type of stuff. Most importantly on that sticker is that gross weight. Do not exceed that. That's your axle weight, hitch weight, all combined the most you can load the RV to. Next up is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it also has the length on it now as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, very important again don't overload the RV. And last but not least are your tire stickers, basically just telling you your tire size but most importantly telling you that tire pressure, very important not to let that tire pressure drop too low so that the camper can hold the proper weight. 
Now up front, the graphics package changed a little bit as well. So you got a little bit different look to the front nose. You got that blue LED light strip up there. This portion also changed up a little bit. You have your electric jack button to go up and down on the front. You have your docking light, which is that cap light up there. They kind of divided this up a little different, so there's some storage here. Then you have your battery compartment area right here. And then this one was not ordered with the generator, but again, it is generator prepped. So you have kind of a multi uh, area here for different things. All right, guys, we are gonna run back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. So we will be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back inside the new XLR Boost here, and we're going to close it up. Just want to show you what it looks like closed. And we're going to start up front here. You have two slides, and they are two separate buttons. So we'll step through into the bedroom area here. And your slide button is located right here for the bedroom slide. So we're just pushing the button. The unit comes straight in and straight out. They're currently using the Lippert in-wall slide. And it kind of butts right up against the edge of the mattress there. Pushes it over probably about an inch or so. But that closes up. So in order to get into the bedroom with that closed, you would have to walk through the bathroom as it does block things off. As you kind of see here what that looks like. Now on the downstairs slide, that's gonna be a little bit different. You have to come back down here to your main control panel here. I uh, forgot to mention earlier, but this is your thermostat control for your main air conditioner and your furnace. Then up here you have your controls for your awning, the downstairs slide, uh, some outside lights, inside light, ramp light as well. Uh, you also have your 12 volt heat pads for your holding tanks for winter camping, water pump, fuel pump, and your monitor panel all right here. But what we're really in here for was to look at that slide. Again, we're hitting the button and bringing this in. This one pretty much does the same thing, comes straight in, straight out. This is a cable slide system that they're currently using on this one. And this is a 12 volt slide as well. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. So, pretty simple. Comes right on in. Again, always make sure your floor is clean before you run these slides in so you don't run something over and rip your floor. Uh, but you kind of see when it comes in, there's only a few inches to kind of squeeze by there, and most people are not going to fit. Maybe you could send one of the kids through or something, but adult-wise, you're probably not fitting through there. So you will have to bump the slide out in order to get up into the main bathroom or the bedroom. Uh, now, obviously, if you're just stopping in a rest area and you want to run and use the bathroom, you have your half bath, your half bath in the garage that you can use as well. Slide just goes straight back out. Real simple and easy to do. But again, if you are stopping at that rest area or you know grocery store or whatever, and you're wanting to just kind of come in and load your refrigerator or something, get to something to you know do a quick meal, you can do so without actually having to get up into the bedroom. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my videos. I really, really do appreciate it.